they've got to live in the real world one day. The real world is for boring, robotic, sheep-like chumps who can't think for themselves. It sounds absolutely shit. Also, with all of this obsession with compliance, you could be setting these children up to be groomed, exploited and bullied. Just saying. If being in the real world means I am to suppress or do away with my autistic authenticity whilst pretending to be someone society has deemed more suitable and thereby traumatising myself, I'll opt to miss out and waste my life in my fantasy world any day. Often, the way this so-called real world is presented to autistic people is done so in a manner that would suggest it is purely detrimental and 0% beneficial. The proponents of this real world fallacy consistently demonstrate a poverty of understanding of how the autistic mind works. I can hear them saying, But if you get a good job you'll make lots of money. The issue is, money may not be inherently rewarding, motivating or meaningful to an autistic person, even if they need it. For some of us, that monotropic focus deep within our cognitive hub will not budge from its galactic central point. Our special interest, and which has no regard for societal values and priorities. This doesn't mean that some of us don't at an intellectual level, get what people are saying about how real life works, it's that we have our own immovable value and priority system within us, oft times juxtaposed to that of society. The fundamental issue is that this so-called real world, to many of us, simply cannot exist on an experiential level. It's just a vague mystifying and dystopian landscape which our monotropic focus prevents us from accessing. The real world is rejected because it's often the case that we already experience a world that makes total sense to us. Why would we rid ourselves of a perfectly functioning reality in favour of one that cannot be seen or touched? The irony is that the so-called real world is a fantastical concept to many of us. The worst thing, though, is when some of us are gaslit and bullied into losing faith and trust in our own reality, but are still unable to grasp or make sense of the one people harp on about as superior. This leaves one in a most undesirable state of limbo, which, as people intolerant to uncertainty, is agonising to an unprecedented degree. It's not even an adolescent urge to revolt against society. That would mean the real world exists. It's that for many of us, our monotropic focus on what we deem valuable and of high priority renders the real world, with its own contradicting set of values and priorities, inaccessible and not real. <laughs> <laughs>